<laughs> okay, so we've been through all the Exorcist movies now, so let's rank them. There's six in total. Uh, so this is all my personal opinion. If you don't agree with it or you have your own opinion, by all means, feel free to let me know down below in the comments. Okay, so let's go now. So, kicking this off at number six, it is Exorcist to the Heretic. Is it surprising why this is at the very bottom? I mean, this one is just boring. I mean, two hours and... I can't even remember much about the plot and I know it had James L. Jones in it and something to do with crickets and that. I feel that his talents were wasted on this movie. So was Linda Blair's. Uh, but yeah, not a brilliant sequel and I can see why William Peter Blatty ignored it when he did the first movie. So coming in at number five, it is Exist the Beginning, the prequel or one of two alternate prequels to The Exorcist. Uh, Stellan Skarsgård, I thought, was a good pick for, you know, um, Lancaster Mirren. Uh, and he was probably one of the best parts about the movie. But the whole thing with the CGI hyenas and all that and stuff. Yeah. Um, and the demon and everything. I can see why this one flopped. And at number four, it is Dominion, prequel to The Exorcist. This, I believe, is like the director's cut of The Exorcist, I think. Um, yeah. Um, it was a slight improvement from the beginning. It came out a year after. And... I thought it was okay, but it felt... At first, I thought it was like, this, this is the same movie as the one I'd watched. But then they changed it in the final act, and with the demon and everything, but yeah. Okay, so we got the worst three out of the way. Let's get to our top three now. So coming in at number three is our recent instalment, Exorcist, the, you know, the Exorcist Believer. And I thought, you know, David Gordon Green... Did it again. He made a good legacy sequel to a classic. Like he did with Halloween in 2018. Whether the other two, I don't know, are going to do good or if they're going to happen. We'll see. But up to now, this one I did enjoy watching and didn't drag. Even though it was two hours long. It, you know, and the first half hour was a little slow. It got going and I enjoyed watching that. So, coming in at number two, it is The Exorcist 3. Now, this is a direct sequel to the first movie, called the third, The Exorcist 3, by it being the third instalment. Not like a freak boy or anything, it's like, it serves as a, as, the, as a standalone sequel. And, of course, there is the iconic jump scare with the whole blanket and the... And that and stuff. And then there is the whole, you know, Gemini killer, George C. Scott now in the lead role. And we also have, um, you know, uh, Brad Dorif in there. We also have the return of Jason. His name's just slipped my mind now. But as Damien Kerris back in this. Uh, and yeah, it is a good follow on. And number one, does it need saying? It's obviously The Exorcist. Now, I can't really say, you know, 1973 when this movie came out, it shocked people, it made people throw up, it made it horrified people, but I never found it scary. I found it funny, but I can see what people mean by it was horrifying when it came out. And this is a classic that's clearly stood the test of time, and the score by Mike Oldfield that... Do 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 you know what I'm on about. Linda Blair, brilliantly talented, uh, you know, and great makeup effects, great vomiting effects. There was a lot of trouble going on with the production of this movie. Of course, everyone should know that and said it was believed to be cursed. But, yeah, 
The Exorcist, you know, it is what said to be one of the best horror movies of all time and one of the scariest, and I can see why. So there you go. There is my ranking of the Exorcist movies. How would you rank these? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and to share with your friends. And feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. All my social media links are linked down below in the description. So feel free to check all that out. I have been Random Ross and this has been my Exorcist film ranking. So until next time, good up nightmares.